Now, one of Saturday's most shocking flashpoints was at that music festival in southern Israel. What should have been a place for carefree young revelry became the setting for simply unimaginable trauma. The open-air site will now forever be immortalised as a killing field. On the blackest day in Israel's history, its darkest scene laid bare. The aftermath of a massacre. Hundreds of young people were murdered here. Many died as they tried to run from the gunfire. And those who survived wonder how they stayed alive. Millet among them, making desperate calls for help on her phone. Nobody came. <laughs> and you must have thought you would never get out. <laughs> no. I told my family that I love them and that I'm happy with the life I had. <laughs> you said goodbye to us. Yeah. And at that point, I was just hoping that I would die from a rocket because I really didn't want to see the terrorist. Yet just a few hours earlier, and this is Millet with friends at the festival close to the Gaza border. Then the music suddenly stops and she turns her camera to film the flash of rockets in the dawn sky. And then we started running towards the fields. And we, I don't know, it was like two hours of running uh, because every direction we ran to, we heard more shooting and, and other people screaming. And I saw a lot of people falling down and it's all like a blur. But I just, I saw tons of people falling down. Finally, she found this place to hide with three friends in a hollow beneath the trees. We heard the shooting above us. We can hear like the whistle of and screaming uh, in Arabic and just shooting in steps. And we tried to just like stay quiet, not breathe, holding hands. For all those taking shelter, silence was the key to survival. <laughs> Another film, the moment Israeli police arrived, at first hopelessly outgunned. I can't believe you got out of there. There is tons of people still missing. As we spoke, the air raid siren sounded over her home. Israelis have rarely felt this vulnerable. It is no wonder that Israel's confidence in its defense forces, in the soldiers and systems which have guaranteed this nation's survival since its foundation, have been so badly shaken. No wonder that so many are calling this Israel's 9-11 moment. Do you want revenge for, for what happened to you and your friends and so many young people? Do you want revenge? I don't want revenge, I want peace. Instead, there will be more blood spilt and more victims on both sides in need of comfort. John Ray, News at 10, Jerusalem.